Off to lead off the inning. We'll get a pinch runner down there, the fist bump. We'll get an eye on who the pinch runner is going to be. It looks like it's going to be Jeffries. And she will come off to a nice ovation. Well, not much reaction from the <laughs> from the <laughs> kind of side. <laughs> Well, well, when she comes back around. All right, guys, so we got to talk about the loser Democrats, right? These sore loser Democrats who got blown out during the congressional baseball game. And one Democrat was so upset about the blowout loss to the Republicans that she flipped off the Republican team during the game, in which again, they were getting blown out here as she was running to the bench, I believe. That's what it looks like, okay? Uh, looks like uh, this is probably one of the first times in her life <laughs> she's ever been on the run. But I'm just saying, um, this is how salty she was, okay? And this comes from the same party that claims they want unity, right? They claim they want unity, okay? However, they can't even come together with the Republicans to play a baseball game without you know, throwing up the dirty bird, right? This is the same group of people that said, when they go low, <laughs> we go high, right? But again, it seems to me that Democrats are always stooping to low tactics whenever they don't get their way, okay? So again, I'm not surprised to see this. This is par for the course when it comes to the Democrats. So let's actually uh, read about this uh, game as again, the Democrats <laughs> got absolutely clobbered, right? They got scoffed by the Republicans. Democrat Representative Linda Sanchez of California flipped off the Republican dugout as she jogged by them Thursday night during the Congressional Baseball game. Republicans dominated the 87th annual Congressional Baseball game for charity, winning 10-0. Wow. Yeah, we would definitely call that a skunk. I mean, this is more than a skunk, okay? 10-0, Democrats couldn't even score at all, okay? They couldn't score at all. Again, I'm not surprised by this because... Um, this is the party of fat acceptance, right? This is the party that tells you it's okay to be out of shape, okay? It's okay not to be athletic, right? And it's no surprise to me that they're getting outperformed by, you know, people who come from states where, you know, people sp tend to spend a little bit more time outdoors, right? They spend, they tend to spend a little bit more time, you know, playing sports and, you know, exercising and taking care of themselves, <laughs> okay? So, so nobody should be surprised that Republicans are dominating uh, Democrats in athletic competition, okay? Nobody should be surprised by this. Sanchez's vocal gesture comes five years after a left-wing terrorist tried to assassinate Republican lawmakers at one of the practices leading up to the game. The terrorist shot five people, including Representative Steve Calise, but fortunately, the only person who was killed was the terrorist. Quote, five years ago, my colleagues and I were attacked playing baseball because we're Republicans, Scalise wrote on Twitter. We didn't let it stop us then, and nothing will stop us now. It's been a long journey, but tonight we will play the congressional baseball game five years stronger. Senator Rand Paul said during a 2018 interview that the media largely ignored a de key detail from the attack that the terrorist was yelling, this is for health care, while he was shooting. He also had a list of conservative legislative Republicans in his pocket that he was trying to kill Paul at it. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a good thing that Republicans um, have the cojones to still play this game uh, despite the attempted assassinations on them that the mainstream liberal media tends to ignore. And this is something that has come up time and time again for as much as the Democrats want to rail about January 6th, right, in the uh, fake coup, <laughs> right, um, in which none of the politicians' lives were actually in any real danger. Republican uh, congressmen and their lives are constantly in danger, okay? Whether that be, again, Congress members, politicians, or Supreme Court justice, right? Brett Kavanaugh, okay? Uh, I did a story about how a guy threatened to assassinate the kill Ted Cruz because apparently Ted Cruz and the Texas Republicans are trying to take away black people's right to vote, right? You routinely have attacks from left-wing extremists in this country over rhetoric that the Democrat Party is putting out, a lot of rhetoric of which is just straight up conspiracy theories. However, that is ignored. But like I said, I do commend the Republicans for having the cojones to continue to play this game, which I think is a great idea, despite what has happened in the past. Okay, so let's read more here. Fox News reported that several leftist climate protesters were arrested at the game for blocking one of the entrances. Quote, a message from U.S. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger 
ahead of tomorrow's congressional uh, baseball game for charity. U.S. Capitol Police Chief Tom Anger told Fox News, we are aware that demonstrators are planning to protest political issues at the congressional baseball game for uh, charity. Our mission is to protect the members of Congress during this family event. We have a robust security plan in place. Well, I'm glad that's the case, right? I'm glad that's the case because we know how these left-wing extremists can get. In fact, uh, some of them, again, like this article mentioned, got arrested outside of the game. Take a look. Yeah, so you see that, you heard that, right? Um, these guys, again, for whatever reason, they believe that protesting outside of this uh, game, this congressional baseball game, is somehow going to help them on the issue of climate change, right? They somehow believe that <laughs> making a lot of noise is going to help affect the climate, right, and the weather. Again, it, it kind of blows my mind. Quote, we urge anyone who is thinking about causing trouble at a uh, charity game to stay home. Manga continue. We will not tolerate violence or any unlawful behavior during this family event. So, again, it's amazing how the people that they're talking about here, right? They're talking about left-wing extremists, right? Left-wing extremists potentially causing violence, potentially harming politicians, Republicans, because of their political views. However... We'll lecture every single day about January 6th and the so-called attack on democracy. However, we're not being lectured about the actual real threat of violence against Republicans that have been happening across this country in the name of left-wing movements, okay? Again, you got these climate protesters. Again, you had to have a ton of police out there and some of them had to be arrested because, again, they are extremists, right? They're extremists. They're so extreme that they think that it's okay to intimidate and, in some cases, harm politicians to get their way. That, that's what they think. I mean, this type of stuff should get more attention, right? Uh, the mainstream media should be talking about this more because there's no reason why our representatives uh, shouldn't be able to play a baseball game for charity and not feel like their lives are in danger because uh, you have extremists outside that are upset about, you know, the climate, right? Uh, which, again, is a global issue, right? That one really blows my mind because even if the U.S. lower our emissions to zero, Okay, we would still have this problem, right? The, the problem wouldn't go away. So all this protesting really is a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Like I tell you, you know, with these um, Democrats and their protests, um, they are multi-year campaigns, right? People make a big deal about one event that happened on January 6th. However, the Democrats, when they start protesting about something, they do it for years, right? You never hear the end of it. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.